Hi, welcome back to the Console Explosion Weekly Wrap-Up. I'm the, your host, the Historic Nerd, and I'm here to host you through the kind of gaming events of last week. This also includes pop culture and kind of other news, random events like that, that are kind of mildly interesting we decided to share with you. So, moving right along, we had an event where a gentleman from Canada awoke to $8,000 in charges from Microsoft. And upon further investigation, discovered that his son has been using his credit card in FIFA 2016 and has somehow managed to rack up actually a $9,000 bill. And on top of that, upon digging even further, he found an additional $8,600 worth of transaction charges. So this is kind of another little unique thing where upon him also looking deeper into it, he discovered that the only way to get out of these charges is to charge his son with credit card fraud. So what do you think of that? And have you ever encountered any credit card fraud like that? For me personally, I had an event where an individual stole my credit card, at least made a perfect copy after the data breaches at Target, and then they were buying sodas in New Jersey at the Quick Stops. I didn't know those were real. I thought they were only out of uh, clerks, so that was a surprise to me. But what's your experience on it, and how the hell does someone spend $9,000 in FIFA? How? But, alright. <laughs> Moving on. A little more somber, depressing news. Last week we lost David Bowie, and also Alan Rickman. So, both incredibly talented individuals, and it's kind of an unfortunate loss to, I would say, the music community and the acting community at the same time. For me, it's kind of a tragic loss because I've always been a huge fan of David Bowie. A lot of his music always kind of inspired me through the years, and especially his performance in the film The Labyrinth, being one of the greatest films that Jim Henson ever put out. And I would say a really kind of wonderful film. But, so they have that kind of tragic event there. Alan Rickman will always remain the Hans Gruber of my heart because he was fantastic in Die Hard. And his American accent was, was phenomenal. <laughs> but right, moving on after that, Jack Daniels has actually released a new flavor, essentially a new whiskey, in honor of the uh, Motorhead frontman, Lemmy. It has kind of a smoky, I would say sweet flavor is what they're marketing it as, and it's kind of a nice tribute to him as an individual and the work he did in the music industry. So, after that, if many of you, I'm not sure you ever experienced this like I did, but playing Oblivion on my Xbox 360, I always had an issue where the game would eventually have a ground-in ring on the inside of the game ring. And this was in many respects due to a design error in, error in the drive of the 360. And apparently there was actually a lawsuit brought against Microsoft that has now gone to the Supreme Court. So it's kind of in the mix and we'll see where this goes. But Microsoft has been fighting it every step of the way, which makes sense considering, you know, the 360 had some kind of really bad design flaws that led to that system kind of flopping. Well, I wouldn't say flopping, but in an essence, uh, dying and kind of ruining games in the process. I used to have to run to the store and get a re, uh, the CDs re resurfaced every once in a while because of how bad that was, at least in the games with heavy loading like Oblivion. But then after that, let's jump to the small screen. Something you might use with your Xbox now predominantly if you have a girlfriend is watch Netflix with it. So, luckily for us, Netflix has been producing pretty good quality content. And the nice thing about that is they actually managed to make something good out of Daredevil, which I was pretty surprised by when they said they were going with that superhero. So, they're actually doing another spin-off that should focus on Nathaniel. You know, Shane from The Walking Dead's going to be playing this character, but it's going to be the Punisher. So if they can do that right, I will have nothing but faith in Netflix's ability to produce pretty good quality content. Because for me, the last three Punisher movies have all been pretty awful. Considering they always went for that PG-13 rating that just made it awful. But wait, was Warzone PG-13? Hey, in a post. What, what, uh, what rating was that movie? Actually, it's rated R. Oh, okay. Thanks. But yeah, so moving from that, Netflix is working on doing that. And also, speaking of other Netflix news, a Reddit user actually discovered that there were thousands of secret categories within the code for Reddit's, or sorry, for Netflix search categories. Because for me, you always have those random search categories and the search algorithm has always been kind of awful on Netflix. But don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Netflix. And then lastly, apparently Fast and the Furious now is going to New York. There are some local, or some pictures of local shots kind of posted on the internet. And... I don't know about you, but I'm just not a fan of Fast and the Furious. Some people are. Works for you. Good for you. But, alright, moving on. For me, 
yeah, I could I could never get into Fast and the Furious ever. I'm sorry, I can't do it. <laughs> but all right, so that's kind of the weekly wrap up for you. If you're curious about kind of our deeper thoughts on David Bowie and other events of last week, you can actually go and watch our podcast. I'm gonna put a link here. But so you got that you can check out. It's got some pretty fun stuff. We kind of dive into discussing celebrities, uh, some of the some of the stuff and interesting issues involving cancer charities. And also, we kind of dive into the concept that the new Hitman game is episodic. So, that's the weekly wrap-up. Thanks for watching.